students. Now we remember that I had given you some homework but none of you could do it. So maybe you are facing some problems so I thought of putting on these slides again for you. So in the first slide as we see we have this picture in which a boy is drowning. Probably he has gone after a ball and now he cannot swim back to the shore. So let us see how we were supposed to do the spidergram. Now in the spidergram, I had given you an empty spidergram. Now what you were supposed to do was, you had to see the picture and then write about the feelings and emotions. Now, feelings and emotions, at the beginning, the children and all of them must have been full of excitement. So you had to collect pictures and you had to collect, sorry, words related to feelings and emotions for all the people who were present there. Whether it was the boy, the lifeguard, whether the people, it could be his family members or maybe they went on a school picnic. So you could like sort of um, consider any sort of situation. It need not be just a family. It could be a school picnic or whatever comes to your mind. Now, so at the, in the beginning they were all excited, there was excitement, they were enthusiastic and then later on the boy got exhausted, he was terrified, yes? So see the entire piece of writing that you would like to do and then think of the words that you would like to use in your writing. Otherwise your writing will become very very ordinary and simple. The next thing that you have to think of is the vocabulary that you could use. Now, for using the vocabulary, see the beach. How was the beach? Now the beach is exquisite, serene. The sun was gleaming on the water. Water was crystal, crystal clear. The boy, his behavior was atrocious. He swam into the DC after the ball. It was a very, very foolish decision. And then when he reached there, he didn't know how to swim back. So he began waving his hands frantically. His arms gave way, that means his arms were tired. He could not swim anymore. Yes? Now, what about the lifeguard? Now the lifeguard shows a lot of or ex extraordinary or tremendous courage. This courage is also called Dutch courage because the Dutch are famous for their courage. So we say that he showed Dutch courage, he showed his mettle and his prompt sagacious action saved the boy's life. All the elders standing, standing outside were furious. Yes? Now, what about the similes, metaphors and alliterations? Now we can use that that boy when everybody was trying to stop him, he was as stubborn as a mule and all the advice fell on deaf ears. And the people who were standing outside or the parents or the teachers could be, they were as mad as a hornet. Now what is a hornet? Let us see. This is a hornet, a wasp. Now when it is scared or it is angry or whatever you may say, then it starts moving frantically here and there, shows anger. So you can say as mad as a hornet. And the sea seemed to be as hungry as a lion. And the boy, he felt his body was as heavy as lead, a heavy metal. So he feels he's sinking down. And the lifeguard, he moved as quick as a flash, as fast as lightning, as fast as his legs could carry. And then he swam. He swam like a fish. He braved the waves. And then after that, when the boy came out, he was rescued. The boy looked as white as a ghost. His face was like that, pale. He was shaking like a leaf. 
he was as quiet as a mouse that is the next day but he was as fit as a fiddle and everybody after this experience they slept like logs so you need to collect such expressions which are appropriate for your writing and then there could be certain ideas which are miscellaneous you may not be able to put them here and there you can just collect them it was a matter of life and death for the boy because he could have drowned and the people who were standing outside they could or we can say we could smell fear in the air because everybody was scared they were all chicken hearted nobody went to go and rescue the boy and we can also say had this boy obeyed or a simple act of obedience could have saved everybody from this experience and for the boy who was drowning it was a close call a close call of death he could have died and after this experience when everything was fine they were all famished very hungry they were starving like hungry hounds what are hounds dogs and then everybody pounced on the food so this could you could use these words and expressions for later on now in your opinion we all know that every we don't like to obey we do not like to follow rules but now what happens we realize that rules are made for our safety so you can give your opinion that we need to know or we feel or i think i opine that rules are made for our safety and we should follow them we should obey and after this experience everybody was a notch wiser a little more wiser than what we were before and in the end how to end your writing we need some quote or saying or proverb i have taken a very very normal one which we all know has been used by william shakespeare and he has used it appropriately for his title of the play so he has titled his play all's well that ends well so this is the vocabulary or this is the planning that we need to do before we begin writing if we start writing without planning then our piece of writing will not be interesting and it will be very bold a uh, very boring and mundane that is ordinary now we will come back to this sentence again today's lecture is unit 2 lecture 1 using similes metaphors and alliterations we have used a number of similes in our writing as bold as a lion as brave as a lion yes swimming as a fish so these are similes we will see them in the coming lectures but for today we will go to alliteration page 15 now alliteration is repeated use of the first letter or sound of a word to call attention to what we are writing yes for example you can say that when we need to make a good start and we want every everybody to pay attention or the person who is reading we want to catch his attention or get his attention or we want to end a story or a description in a very strong way or positive way like in our writing we used all's well that ends well so you can put a quote then at that time we may use alliterations now what are alliterations some examples are that monday morning was misty and mysterious see the use of words starting with m and then we say it was a delicious end to a delightful day but for our writing it was not delightful but we can change it a little and we can write it was a delicious end to not so delightful a day see how the d's have been used so we can use alliterations like this in our writings and our writings can become very interesting in the same way we have the last sentence peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers all right so this is how all the letters are beginning with p 
Now, in the same way, we have many, many tongue twisters. If we can make our own and we can use them in our writing, it will become very interesting. Now, this one is not appropriate for this writing, but I'm just giving you some examples of tongue twisters. And I, for your homework, I want you to practice all these tongue twisters and record them for me as your voice messages. All right? And send them to me. Now, this one. A bitter biting bittern, bitter better biting bittern, and the better biting bittern bit the bitter biting bittern back. Said the bitter biting bittern to the better biting bittern, I'm a bitter biting bittern bitten back. Wasn't that interesting? Now you can try and say this. In the same way, we have another tongue twister. A certain young fellow named BB wished to marry a lady named Phoebe, but he said, I must see what the minister's fee be. Before fee be, be fee be, be be. Another one, an interesting one, maybe you have heard this before. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. If the thought I thought I thought had been the thought, I thought I wouldn't have thought so much. The next one and the last one is the doctoring doctor doctors the doctor the way. The doctoring doctor wants to doctor the doctor, not the way the doctor doctor wants to be doctored. So these are the ones that you are going to try and practice at home because they are all tongue twisters. Now you have to complete these descriptions with your own ideas, with alliterations. And what is alliterations that we have learned just now? Words that begin with the same alphabet or words that are repeated like here we have doctor, doctoring, doctor, doctors. Yes, in this one we have only thought and thought is being repeated again and again. In this we have BB. So we have BB, Phoebe. Yes, and these are being repeated again and again. In this one we have bitter, biting, bitter and only and better. So with these four words, we have made such an interesting thing. Now this one, you must be wondering what is this? A bitter, we know what is bitter. Bitter God, bitter God is bitter. Biting, we know biting. Bittern is a small bird. So a bitter biting bird bit a better biting bittern. That means another better bird. And that bird was also a biting bird. And this better biting Bittern, that is the bird, bit the bitter biting bittern back again. So this one bit the bird and the other bird bit it again. And then said in the last or at the end, I'm a bitter biting bittern, bitten back. Because the better biting bittern bit me back again. So if you read these carefully, there is a hidden meaning behind them. Try to find these meanings. What does it mean? Yes, and it will get us thinking and some new ideas might come to our mind. Now see here in the first one we have one wonderful woman. You can have one wonderful something else starting with W. So there are no fixed answers. Too terrible. Now think of a word which starts or begins with T. And they are terrible. Or maybe you think they are terrible. So it is your own idea, your own opinion. Nothing is wrong. All right? Four frightening what? But they should be nouns. All right? They should be nouns. Not something which does not make any sense at all. Okay? So like woman is a noun. Yes, a bird is a noun. A stone is a noun. So you can just think of something, some noun, making some what little sense. Four frightening what? Yes? I can think of four frightening frogs starting with F. You could think of something else starting with F. Five filthy dash. Six strange dash. I can think of six strange strangers. Yes? So you think of something else. Seven secret dash. Eat able dash. Now in this you may write a word starting with E or even starting with A. Number nine. 9 naughty dash, 10 tasty dash. For your homework, you have to complete the spidergram 
that is on your own now with spidergram i am sure now you have no doubt you need to go through this spidergram and add to this or make one of your own if you can think of is it okay so you can think of words for excitement enthusiasm you can think for words of exhausted terrified for the lifeguard you can think of bravery courage use any other vocabulary that you can think of think of some more similes metaphors alliterations you can make your own alliterations yes like we've seen in the tongue twisters some quotes sayings your opinion anything that you can think of you can write and make your own spider gram and the last one you have to complete exercise 6 on page 15 which is this it is this exercise i'm sure you've enjoyed the lesson today good luck and send your spider grams soon thank you